And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone, and we've all had many issues with at least one iPhone, whether we like to admit it or not. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the best things that you can do in order to fix your iPhone that keeps restarting. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now leave us a like if you like this video so far or if you end up liking it later down the line and leave us a comment with any of your questions after you're done watching of course because we would be more than happy to answer them also don't forget to share this video with others if you find it useful and most importantly subscribe for more videos just like this moving forward now there are going to be five reasons that i can think of as to why your iphone could repeatedly restart itself now one of those could actually be really just a bad update and this is one of the most common issues for the iphone if that keeps restarting starting error. While updating your device to a new version of iOS, if the process gets halted in between, then it might result in a few issues. Now, my iPhone keeps restarting whenever, for instance, an update is halted in between or the update goes wrong altogether. That can actually end up being a pretty big issue. An unstable update of iOS can also result in this particular problem coming right up as well. And the next up is actually going to be a malware attack. And this usually happens with jailbroken devices more specifically. So like if you have performed a jailbreak on your device, then you can just install apps from other sources as well, which of course with more freedom comes less security. Though this comes with a few disadvantages as well beyond just that, and it makes your device more vulnerable to security threats. And if you have installed an app from an unreliable source, then it can result in the iPhone that just keeps restarting. And next up is going to be unstable drivers. If any driver has become unstable after a prominent change in your phone, then it can put your phone in a reboot loop mode as well. And the best way to overcome this is by updating your firmware, of course, when possible. And now this one's a lot less likely, and that's actually going to be hardware issues. This can actually sound a little bit more bleak, and there are times when an a malfunctioning hardware component also causes this problem. For instance, there could be a problem with your device's power key that might cause this error altogether, and that could actually be pretty detrimental and would probably require you to take it to a repair shop. And now lastly, we're going to have app problems. Apps don't often cause the iPhone to keep restarting just like that, but it can still happen. If you wrongly installed an app, your iPhone may actually keep restarting itself over and over again, and that can cause, yet again, a lot of other issues. Exactly what's causing your iPhone to keep restarting like this, you can learn how to resolve the issue by following these suggestions coming right up. And if your iPhone keeps restarting, you can try the following three methods. And if those don't work, then we do have a fourth method in case of anything. So first things first, update iOS and other applications. So sometimes the software updates may cause your iPhone to keep restarting. So check if there are any kind of software updates available so far. So go to your settings and then general and then onto your software update. And if an update is available, just go ahead and install it. And also do check if there are any apps that need to update to see whether that can actually fix your iPhone when it keeps restarting like this. Another thing that you can do is just go ahead and uninstall the app that could be causing your iPhone to restart almost every time. So rarely the unsecured app will cause the iPhone to keep restarting itself. And in order for you to check which one it could be, you could just go over to settings, privacy, analytics, and then analytics data menu, and then see if any apps are listed repeatedly. Uninstall it and then clean its data to see whether the iPhone keeps restarting itself. And if it doesn't, then that essentially means that the issue has been resolved altogether. Another thing that you can do is just remove the SIM card from your phone. Sometimes wireless carrier connection may cause the iPhone to keep restarting too. Your SIM card connects your iPhone to your wireless carrier. So removing it to see if your iPhone keeps restarting after the fact could actually help you verify if that's the issue or not. And if it keeps happening even after that, then it means that there are still other solutions that we could try. And you can also try to force restart your iPhone. For iPhone 8 and later devices like the XS, Max, XR, 12, etc., press and quickly release the volume up and then do the same thing for the volume down key and then press the side button or the sleep wake button until your phone starts itself over. And now if you're using an older phone, such as let's say like an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6S or earlier devices like that, and then this can be done by long pressing the home and wake slash sleep button at the same time for at least 10 
whole seconds. And then your phone will vibrate and then break uh, the reboot loop just like so. And if you're using something like an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus that do require a different process altogether, then in this case, you're going to want to press uh, the volume down and the sleep wake button simultaneously to force restart your device from there. Another thing that you can try is to factory reset your phone. And if your phone is suffering from a malware attack or maybe just got a wrong update, then the issue can easily be resolved by resetting your phone. The what will erase your phone's data during the process. In order to do this, just go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. Just connect a lightning cable from your iPhone onto your computer and then just go ahead and long press the home button on your phone for 10 seconds while connecting it to a system and then release the home button while launching iTunes on your system. And then your device is now going to be set into recovery mode from here. And it's going to display the iTunes logo to show you that it is indeed in that mode. And then you can restore it straight out from iTunes just like that. And you can connect it to iTunes in order to recover your data as well in case you end up just resetting it. And I'm going to show you exactly how. And if my iPhone keeps restarting then i mostly resolve the issue by just going ahead and connecting it to itunes even after placing your phone in the recovery mode you can't simply just connect it to itunes to recover your data if you made a backup there and simply just go ahead and follow these steps in order to resolve the iPhone that keeps your starting issue with iTunes coming right up. With the help of the cable, I just go ahead and plug your iPhone directly onto your computer and launch iTunes. And as soon as you're going to launch iTunes, it's going to detect a problem with your device. And it's going to display the pop-up message that is going to give you the option to restore your iPhone in case of anything. In order to retrieve the information that you need, you can just manually resolve it by launching iTunes and visiting its summary page. And now under the backup section, just go ahead and click on the restore backup button and this is going to restore your your backup data on your iphone so it's going to bring it right back to that last backup that you had initially while it's going to take a little while it is still going to be a very effective method of going about it and if after attempting everything else that we suggested your iphone still continues to restart automatically then don't worry we do have a reliable and easy to fix method for you coming right up. And that is going to be with the assistance of Dr. Phone System Repair Tool for iOS in order to resolve the iOS reboot loop issue and protect your phone from any more harm. It is going to be compatible with all of the leading versions of iOS and works on every major iOS device as well, like the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, for instance. And the desktop application is going to be available for both Windows and Mac and can be downloaded without any hassle whatsoever. So links to that are going to be in the description as per usual. And if your iOS device is not functioning properly, uh, you can easily go ahead and fix the issue with Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS. Without experiencing any kind of data loss, you can just go ahead and fix issues like reboot loop occurrence, black screen, Apple logo fixation, white screen of death, and even more. And whenever my iPhone keeps restarting, I use this reliable application to fix it. So you can also do it by following these instructions coming right up. So step one is obviously going to be to download Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS from our website and then go ahead and launch whenever you wish to resolve an issue on your device and then connect your iPhone to your system and from the welcome screen just go ahead and choose the option of system repair and when the new window opens there are going to be two options to fix your iPhone and that keeps your starting so like in this case you're going to see a window that says standard mode and it's also going to say advanced mode I'll go ahead and select the first one which in this case is going to be standard mode and then go ahead and confirm the device model and then select the system version in order to download the relevant firmware on your system and then go ahead and click on the start button in order to get through it and then sit back and relax as it might actually take a little while to download the relevant firmware for your iPhone and then try to maintain a stable network connection and do not disconnect your device at any time while this is going on. And as soon as the relevant firmware would be fully downloaded and the application is just going to begin its thing. It's going to start repairing your iPhone right from there. And you can get to know about its progress from an on-screen indicator as you would always do with Dr. Phone. And when the process would finally be completed here, you're going to get the following message. And if you don't get the desired result, just go ahead and click on the try again button to repeat the process and then just wait a little bit longer and see what happens 
from there. And that's it. Those have been some of the best methods of fixing an iPhone when it keeps restarting automatically. And if you like this video, then do make sure to go ahead and leave us a like and also comment any of your questions down below as we would be more than happy to answer them. Go ahead and share this video with others if you found it useful. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. So until next time, enjoy.